everybody so I'm in my bedroom back at my house I would call it my parents house but I still like live on campus so I'm calling it still my home my house I'm back at home because of Thanksgiving so uh, because I have so many books here to show you I decided that I would tell you the top seven books that have made me cry. So before we get down to it, I'm just going to mention some honorary mentions. First honorary mention is Allegiant by Veronica Roth. Um, spoilers, probably uh, you know why at this point, why Allegiant is so sad because of the end. Second honorary mention has to be City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. This is the fifth book in the Mortal Instruments series. This would come in like number eight in my top seven. Okay, so on to my list. Coming in at number seven on my list is The Fiery Heart by Rochelle Mead. Uh, I don't have it with me. My friend has it, but there are a lot of feels in that book. And I had to choose just one of the Bloodlines books because I'm pretty sure all of them made me cry. Let's be honest here. And then we have coming in at number six, City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. This book literally took me like three days to read um, because it's... Massive, probably one of the biggest books I've ever read in my life, but I thought I was going to cry more in this book, which is why it's kind of like number seven, because like the other books made me cry so much more, um, but yeah, literally like cried towards the beginning, cried at the end, and in the epilogue, like everything just gave me so many feels, and I just was so sad, and but the ending was kind of happy. So, like, I did cry a lot because of the thing that happened when they went to that place. Alright, and number five has to be Where She Went by Gail Foreman. Ooh. Ooh, it's a navy blue. Did not know that. I did cry during this book, and I did cry a lot, and it was kind of towards the beginning and, like, spots in the middle and the end and stuff. I attributed most of my crying to being sleep deprived. I read half the book when I couldn't sleep one night, so I think that's why it made me like extra emotional. It is a very sad book and it gave me a lot of feels, plus I love Adam and Mia and it just made me cry. I think that's, you know, the video. Okay, we have number four on my list is, oh crap, I forgot to do the fiery heart. Oh no, I'll do the fiery heart right now. I'll have to redo it. But... So number four on my list has to be Spirit Bound by Richelle Mead. It was between Spirit Bound and Last Sacrifice. Last Sacrifice did make me cry at the end, but Spirit Bound literally made me cry all over the place. In the middle, every time there was a Romitri scene, and then all the stuff with Adrian. A lot of tears. Let me just, let me just say, I have to say this, but literally in the middle, sobbing, literally the last half of the book, half of me was sobbing. Okay, I made a last minute switch just now. Uh, number three on my list is The Retribution of Mara Dyer. Um, I cried in the beginning. I cried in the middle. I cried in the end. I cried. But this book had like a happy ending. It was a fantastic third book in a trilogy. Wrapped up so nicely. But it just made me cry so much. I was literally sitting in my friend's house 
crying and he was playing a video game because that's just what he was doing. That was our compromise. I was going to read. He was going to play a video game. Okay, so coming in at number two is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I do have to say that this book was kind of boring in the beginning, but okay. If you read this book, yes, I cried at the ending. That's kind of obvious. And I'll get to that in, two, in a minute. There was just this scene of like how Ruby left her parents. And I thought that was the initial sad part in the whole entire book. And I cried because it was just so heartbreaking for me. This girl is 10 years old. But also the ending. I recently read this book and I was sitting in my bed. I was like, oh, the ending's coming, blah, blah, blah. All these things are going to happen, whatever. Then the ending scene happens, and I'm, I know what's happening. It, I know what's happening. And then, and then, the thing happens. And then, my body erupts into sobs of tears. I literally finished the book put it down, stared away, and tear, tears streaming, tears streaming, crying, <laughs> eyes so sad, so much sadness, and number one book that makes me cry every single time is If I Stay by Gail Foreman. I read this book back when it was published, when freshman in high school. Oh, the book looks really good. And I try to read this book as often as I can because it is one of my favorite books. It's probably my favorite book. Every single time I read this book, I cry. More and more and more and more and more because I know what's happening. Well, I hope you liked this video. Kind of a uh, sad topic, but Christmas is coming up! Yay! for more bookish videos and I've been Courtney you've been lovely see you in my next video bye